Welcome to the Google AdSense channel. I am Ezgi, and today I will be taking you through the Google AdSense account activation steps. After you create your AdSense account, you need to activate it. Then you can start showing ads on your site and earn money. We will cover three steps of account activation today. Completing your payment address details, verifying your phone number, and connecting your site to AdSense. Let's start with completing your payment address details. It's important that you enter this information correctly so that you can get paid. You'll need to choose an account type to start. You can choose either an individual or a business account type. There's no difference in the services or payment structure between those types. Individual accounts are paid out to the payee name of the account holder, whereas business accounts are paid out to the company name. It might not be possible to change your account type once your account is activated. So please be careful when making this selection. Then you'll need to enter your name and address. Enter your full name exactly as it appears on your banking information. This information is crucial for you to receive your payments without any problems. So make sure your name and your address are accurate. Note that you must be able to receive mail at this address. When your account balance reaches the verification threshold, we'll mail you a personal identification number. You will then need to enter it in your AdSense account. Second step is phone verification. It's not required in all countries, but if it's required for you, you'll see a card on your AdSense homepage. If you've previously verified a phone number for Google, you will see your verified phone number listed in the phone number field. You can choose to use this phone number for AdSense and skip the rest of the phone verification process. If this isn't the case for you, you can choose whether you'd like to receive the code via a text or a voice call. Please make sure to use the international format, a plus sign followed by the country code, the area code, and the phone number. Last step is to connect your site to AdSense. It's as easy as copying the code from your AdSense account and pasting it into the HTML of your site you need to paste it between the head and head tags. If you're using WordPress, we highly recommend using the SiteKit plugin. SiteKit can connect your WordPress site to your AdSense account and place the AdSense code on all your pages for you so you can show ads automatically across your site. If you created your site using a content management system, you'll need to check if your CMS has AdSense built in or if it supports a plugin that can help you implement your AdSense ad code. If you need assistance with a plugin, visit the official support forum of your service or the developer of the plugin. Please double check that the site you used for AdSense and the URL you paste your AdSense ad code are the same. In case they aren't, you can change it here. You can then click on the I've pasted the code into my site and click done. If we cannot detect the ad code on the site, your account activation won't go through. Please also be aware of the following tips to make sure you don't encounter any problems with connecting your site to AdSense. One, make sure that your site complies with the AdSense program policies. Two, your site needs to have unique and original content and it should attract genuine user interest. Three, if your site is under construction, doesn't load, or if it's difficult to navigate, we can't activate your account. Four, your site needs to be reachable so that we can review it. Make sure your ads.txt file is accessible for crawling. We will then review your site to check that it complies with the AdSense program policies. The review usually takes a few days. We will email you when your account is fully activated. Then you can set up ads on your site and start earning money. We hope this video helps you better understand how to activate your AdSense account. To learn more, you can visit the AdSense Help Center and AdSense website via the links in the description of this video. Last but not least, make sure to subscribe to the Google AdSense channel for more best practices and tips on how you can grow your business further. Thank you for watching and let us know in the comment section if you have any suggestions for new videos.